I threatened to make a video about this for a really long time, so now I'm finally doing it. This is my Shoutcast server. This plays all of my MP3s. I have two stations. One plays the newer stuff that I have, and the other station just plays everything. And uh, this is an old Dell Optiplex GX110. It's a Pentium 3, 866 megahertz. And uh, it's got 256 mega RAM, and it runs a hacked copy of Windows XP. And that's pretty much what you got there. It just sits there and does that all the time. By the way, for transcendental airwaves, this is the Packard Bell monitor that I have. Right here, it looks just like the one that you have. You can see it's buried under stuff. We'll get to that later. But this is it. The monitor is in pretty good shape besides it being yellow. That's really about it. It works. And I forget the resolution it's currently running at. It's 1024 by 768 if I remember correctly. But I do not know what the refresh rate is currently set to. So if it wants to cooperate here any day. Uh, there we go. We can find that out just for fun. Yeah, there you go. It's running 1024 by 768, true color, 24 bit at 60 hertz. I don't think it supports any higher uh, refresh rate at this resolution. But uh, actually, the, uh, the flicker isn't that bad on it. But anyway, like I said, this is it. So basically all it is is just a regular PC, like I was explaining. It was supposed to do other stuff. It is a media file server. I have uh, an external hard drive, which is somewhere in this mess here uh, behind it, that uh, houses some of the media. There's two drives inside. I have other videos on the machine itself. And it just runs two copies of Windows with the Shoutcast, DNAS, and whatever other associated software. Uh, right now, Winamp is currently in transition to another company, and Shoutcast is kind of up in the air, but this will work. And no, I'm not giving you the IP address, because that is my own private IP address, but those of you who are familiar with uh, Father Google uh, might be able to find that. And uh, possibly tune in. And if you do, make sure you leave a comment letting me know. You may also find a link for a song requester page, uh, that is currently not available over the interwebs because it was working great for a while, but due to flaws in the software, uh, it doesn't. Uh, it it allows you to select songs even though you're not connected to the stream, and bots and all kinds of stuff over the interwebs will go and keep requesting songs even though uh, nothing's listening and stuff like that. So I can't keep that on the interwebs any longer. So it's just over uh, the intraweb here, and that's pretty much it. And uh, that's pretty much it. You don't need Winamp in order to play the stream. If you have an iPhone or an iPad or an iPod, it'll play it directly if you just go to the address there and uh, stuff like that. Uh, Windows phones seem to have trouble with it. Maybe you need an app for it. Android typically doesn't have a problem, but you can get Winamp for Android and it will certainly play in there because uh, I can do that kind of on my tablet. Uh, it's been running real nicely, just been sitting here doing its thing for a very long time. I originally had a previous machine that was a lot slower. In fact, it actually used 72-pin SIMs for RAM. That old one, I forget the speed of it, but it was pretty old stuff. Kind of similar to this, even though I think this one is actually a little newer. This is another story entirely, and another video, which will be the next one. But anyway, like I said, you can go ahead and uh, try and find me on the Jay Shoutcast kind. And that's pretty much it. You will hear uh, the speakers here uh, are playing both the songs that are playing right now. I just keep it at a very low volume just so I know, just coming down here, that yeah, it's playing, everything's working, everything's doing its thing. But it just sits here 24-7, wasting electrism pop doing its thing. And when I go to parties at other people's houses, they often forget the music. So I say, well, you can connect to the Shoutcast kind. And they say, oh, yeah, I want to do that kind. You have good music, Jay. Everybody loves Jay Shoutcast. But 
then they don't have adequate speakerage. That's why Sharky has a cable, so he can hook it up to adequate speakerage. But anyhow, I thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.